What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Why We Love PlayStation VR. Sitting across from me this week and every week, it's the king of all kings. It's the VR king. It's the Sofa King. Wow. It's Jeremy King. So many titles. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you just list them all on the screen. You're like, where do you go? Yeah, yeah. right? And then Watch regular it. ass Brian Paul sitting as he's right next to me, to my left, not across from me, but diagonal. And every week I'm... Why we love PlayStation <laughs> VR? We dip into the PlayStation VR archive. We pull out a game at random. Yeah. We dust the blow off of it. Nummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we see what it tastes like, and uh, <laughs> and we take a closer Maybe look like at a it. Switch cartridge. We see if it's uh, see if it's been given any love by developers, any updates, any DLC, and then we let you know the little game cats. <laughs> it's worth your time. That or being not. said, Jeremy, what game did we decide to play this week? Demo. Semicolon, reborn. This is a semicolon, correct? Uh, it's actually a hyphen. It's like it's demo oh. hyphen reborn oh, hyphen. hyphen. I don't understand that. Reborn. It, it looks it looks good in the logo. Yes. It looks horrible when I type it out for the title of the video. Right. Or yeah. when you have Siri pronounce the name. Yeah. She pronounces. She I probably does. I Who knows? I have no idea. Yeah. Who uses Siri anymore? <laughs> Isn't it just Alexa all around? No, I disconnected my Alexa when I was giving it a gift. It was maybe hours, and I'm like. Unplug. She's listening to us right now. I know. We, we said her name twice, and she went, hmm? Like, what? She's like, are you speaking to me, Brian? Demo Reborn by Ravark, released November 21st, relatively recently. Very soon. 2019 for $39.99. Uh, Jeremy, this is not the first Demo game ever made. Uh, there's one on uh, iOS and Android. Okay. And then there was one on PlayStation Vita. Uh, last wow. Recital, I believe it was called. Okay. Uh, this one's a little bit different than the other ones, uh, but what would you classify this game at what kind of game is demo reborn so it's a hybrid it is uh a, a, like an adventure not my point and click adventure game and uh like a music game like a music rhythm game yeah, yeah like so, beat saber and Attica. yeah right what would the hybrid for this this is pretty unique with that hybrid aspect no oh, absolutely yeah so the concept here is that this little girl yeah who i don't believe has a name I played play the entire game. I don't remember anyone calling her anything other than little girl. Yeah, yeah. Right? She falls into this castle through a window in a ceiling. In the ceiling, it's like yeah. like a skylight. Yeah. Which seems to be the only entrance or exit to the entire place. Because yeah. she wants out, but there's no way out. No. There's no ladder. There's no staircase to that window in the sky. There's yeah. no exit doors. Nothing. Surprisingly calm. For someone her age to be yep. now trapped with, I've never seen <laughs> The Nightmare Before Christmas, believe you, it or not. What? I know. Out of all the movies I've seen, it's insane. I don't insane. think you're allowed to co-host this show insane, anymore. Insane, right? Michelle would have your head. It's crazy. Yeah. I still think it's crazy I haven't seen it. Yeah. Shit. I've seen Care Bears. All right? The movie. I've seen that. But anyways, I just I just did a marathon run of iCarly season four. Oh, you you know those backwards and forwards though. Oh yeah, yeah, it's my favorite show. I started doing Boys Boy Meets World. Oh, so good. Yeah, love Boy Meets World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, Jack yeah. Fr Jack right? That's Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington. Mm -hmm. It looks just like him except silhouette. I, I was I was going with Slender Man. Ooh, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a little Slender Man. He's, he's super tall. Yeah, and he's got like these big long lanky appendages. Yeah, right. It's and, silent. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, it doesn't speak. No. Totally mute. Yeah. And so this little girl falls into the castle that he inhabits. Yeah. And he's really dark and mysterious. He is. But he's obviously very caring. He is very caring. He takes care of her the second she falls through, he catches her, yeah. places her on the piano. Yeah. Like he is now her guardian. I yeah. When they go see rated R movies together, he has to show ID. Yeah, ID, yeah, she's with me. Yep. Or he would just be like <laughs> He, he doesn't, doesn't say a word. Nothing. Right. Is his license black? Probably. Black black. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, he probably has like that, the black credit card, you know, the one that's made of metal, <laughs> super expensive, the Jerry Seinfeld card. Right, yeah. Right? Uh, and the only other person that Bruce lives Wayne. in this castle, Bruce Wayne, is uh, is not Bruce Wayne, it is... Uh, the girl. It the, is the master. The master girl. Master girl. Yeah. Right? And so, uh, and so, as you were saying, mm -hmm. it's kind of a point-and-click adventure. Yeah. What are you, what are you doing? To, explain to me the point-and-click adventure. So in the point-and-click adventure portion of the game, you're basically finding these uh, scrolls with like notes on them, so that you can go to the rhythm section of the game and play the music. So you're it's called it's called sheet music. Sheet Jeremy. music, I know. Sheet I can't music. Think of the are, name. Wait, how are we are both musicians? Musicians, I know, right? Sheet music. I even learned how to read drum music. Tablature. Tablature. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days. Yeah, 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 yeah. The words. I don't know. Colors. Can we go by colors again? 
the colors. Sure. Lots of colors. But um, yeah, so uh, during the adventure portion of the game, you're just, you know, uh, finding things, moving things, finding puzzles. Yeah, shitload of puzzle solving. Yep, that yeah. unlock shit <clears throat> music yeah. that you then, you know, go to Jack Skellington or whatever. <laughs> Demo. The, Demo. And then you go to the rhythm section of the game, yep. which the music helps the tree, which we did not explain yet. We did not. The only way out of this goddamn castle that she fell through the ceiling or i initially thought he called up for her because he was looking up and waiting and then she slowly fell down and he was there to catch her this is a possibility you know yeah mysterious right so <clears throat> so when demo plays the piano yeah this little tiny sapling it's only yeah. this big at the beginning of the game yeah magically grows yeah it grows very quickly it does yeah in fact on every loading screen it actually tells you which is neat the height of the tree currently yeah right because you'll play a song and then it increases by a meter yeah but it's like a, was it 50 meters i think you have to get to it's yeah i i kept going back to be like ah shit there's nothing that's changed in the the game world so that means you got to go play more music okay and, and that is the best part of this right mm -hmm. so the the two types of gameplay that you described yeah the puzzle solving kind of exploration yeah adventure part mm -hmm. and then the music part the music rhythm beat saber part yeah they connect in a very specific kind of way yeah you play the piano as much as you possibly can to make that little sapling grow as big as it can and then it stops growing yes and then that's when you know you're like the game even kicks you back out and says return to castle yeah and so you return to the castle you now you're instead of playing as demo with those big awesome hands yeah on the keyboard so fluid too on the right? keyboard he's so confident so confident yeah you now are playing as the little girl and you're exploring the castle, you're solving puzzles, you're doing all this stuff, you're trying to figure out how to push the story forward, yep. and then you find more sheet music. Yep. And when you find new sheet music, only mm. new songs will make the tree grow. Yeah. And you bring it back to Demo, you play the mu play more music, the, the tree grows more, yep. and it progresses the narrative. It all works very fluidly together. Although, Although, so if you play a song once through, and if you don't get a high enough score, you play it again to get a higher score... I noticed this happens where I didn't progress the story. There was nothing for me to do in the castle. I went back, played my songs again. This happened towards the beginning. Then I exited. Then there was a progression to the story. Okay. So I think replaying them, getting a higher score than you previously got, will still help the tree grow a little bit. And, you know, am I correct on this? Do you remember I, I, this? I, I don't remember. No? I don't I honestly so. remember because I, I feel like I would play each song on easy. Yeah. And then I would play it on hard. And... Then you master it. You're oh good at the rhythm games, though. I think I am not good with the rhythm games. No? In fact, I am terrible at this game. Oh, really? I'm absolutely terrible. Let's talk about the rhythm stuff okay. for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as Demo, yeah, you've got you're using two move controllers. Yeah, and those are his two hands. Yeah, and all these notes are coming at you, mm -hmm. and you're supposed to be playing the notes on the piano, and it feels more like you're banging on a drum a or a xylophone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Rather than having like this nice fluid hand movement, yeah, on easy, yeah, I think this feels really good. Mm -hmm. I think you do, oh, you know, boom, 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 ring, boom. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then you walk up and down you yeah, know, just yeah, by yeah. kind of dragging it. I it, felt so slick. It feels really good. Yeah, because it does. It feels like ding. Yeah, it feels really good. I even make the hand motion. Yeah, yeah, like me that. too. Yeah, yeah, and it feels great. Yeah, but then on the hard modes, the expert, whatever it's called, I didn't even attempt. There's, there's, like, it just looks like this barrage of, yeah. of, of squares coming at you, and you're just like, uh, I, don't, I, I, right? don't, I don't think I can do this. Yeah. And I don't think the game is responsive enough to allow you to do it. It, it no. feels kind of mushy. I, I agree. Even on the sl even on the, the easy setting. Yeah. If, so the controls are great. I mean, they worked well. We'll get into the controls after. But when they don't work, they certainly don't work. I, I would have some certain times... Where, for some reason on the left, I don't know why, but it wouldn't register every, uh, and gotcha. it would just go by, and I'm like, God damn it, you know it as you're playing and that it didn't hit. Yeah. And you want to immediately just stop the song and go back. Um, I, I noticed that once with the, the, the my left hand, there was an issue reading it. So it, I think I drifted a little bit like this when I was playing. Okay. So when I straightened out better, it was able to read the distance, because it, it definitely, is, obviously it's sensitive to reading those controllers right but it, it was pretty tight i had the opposite problem okay I, it was hitting every single note and then some oh right so there'd be a note all the way up here 
and it would think that I hit it again. Oh, shit. And, and it would go, like, like, no, 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 I wasn't ready. I wasn't hitting ah, that note yet. I wonder. But I was just too close to the line. I see. Because right? it was like an imaginary line in real space yeah. where there's this supposed to be this virtual piano. Yeah. And so you're doing this, and you kind of have to get the feeling of where that line is. I had difficulty. I did too. Because that's one thing. All right, so rhythm games, I've never been a huge fan of. Mm-hmm. And it's probably because I'm like Navin Johnson. I'm the jerk. You know, like, wow. I have no rhythm. Even though I'm a drummer, I can play and I have no issues and I got it. Yeah. But when it's a, a a music game, it's too much Simon Says for me. And that fluidity, that rhythm, I leave it. It's gone. And it's more like I'm rigid. I'm trying to hit the marks and it's just really hard to get into it. Yeah. And um, I had a lot of trouble with unknown songs that are not familiar to me whatsoever where the piano felt like it was thrown on top of this. So, like, there was none of that beat and rhythm of like ah oh, the keys are here yeah. it's like weird so like you couldn't really feel it my so some some of the songs felt intentionally off rhythm okay right it was like he's like here's this song but the piano uh but the piano accents yeah are supposed to be off rhythm yeah and so it wasn't yeah it's not like beat saber where like every note right yeah this is like oh this the piano just does not go with the rest of the song yeah yeah and i mean which is a good thing and bad thing and i don't know if it's just because of my lack of i mean i played keyboard as well i tried it uh, yeah, i played minimally i can't even say that i'm didn't endorse cover band actually wow i wasn't that good at it but I, we had a ball yeah <laughs> no ray manzarek that's for sure let me ask you this yeah uh did you play any of the non-vr version of this game no i did not let me tell you something about the non-vr version of this game okay or what's or at least the, the music part okay uses does not use the move controllers only uses the dual shock 4 so you're using like left, up, and right on the D-pad oh, for, shit. for the like first, second, and third part sure, of the line. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then square, triangle, and circle for four, five, and six part of the keyboard. I would almost think that's harder. It's way harder, but it's super accurate. Uh, and if I you get imagine. if you get that down, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's awesome. But I but I wish they gave you that option in non VR with the on the control or moving them. No, no, no. I wish you put the move controllers down. Oh, oh, oh. And, oh, and in play, the VR. And play with the DualShock 4 yeah, in yeah. VR just for that precision level. Okay. Because on the expert mode, I feel like the moves just aren't cutting it. Yeah. Right? And I don't think it's the tracking because I thought the tracking was perfect. Sure. It's the game's response to where the hands are in that space. True. Um, but also, mm-hmm. another comparison I need to make yeah. is the non-VR and VR version of the exploration mode. Okay. This game, I think, is one of the most beautiful games as far as art design is concerned. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the the character models, the little girl, the yeah. demo, the characters, the the animation in the rooms, yeah. and, and, and even the room designs themselves. It had a lot of nip and itchy, uh, ness, yeah. you know, that, that kind of feel for those type of sprite RPGs that were famous Absolutely. on the PS3 and... A little bit on the four, the Vita. Vita, for, for sure. That, that like, uh, Disgaea look to it, yeah. you know what I mean? But, um, which is nice. I like that. It know? is nice. But the problem is, I think these static camera angles, and I don't think I had a problem with the static camera angles, uh, which you can, by the way, you can you can Change. push hit a button. It's and say, odd. It is odd. I got to say, that was odd, changing the cameras, because you pause it. Right. You see these film reels these Floating cameras, cameras. Yeah. that you would beep, and then now you view from that after you unpause it so i get it i think it was an afterthought let's change some camera angles so yeah. maybe you could see some notes i also thought it was awkward at times where there would be shiny spots that it would appear mm-hmm. in demo's piano room there yeah where it looked like a scroll was because that's what what it would do when a scroll was lying there and you'd pick it up mm-hmm. I didn't know what those things were for. Did you know? You never know what I'm talking did, about. Did you follow all of them? Oh no, oh. I didn't follow them. They lead you somewhere. No, they once once you once you follow all of them. Yeah. And you and like if it sparkles, you walk yeah. to that sparkle. Another sparkle, you walk to that. Oh. Walk to another sparkle, you walk to that. And then once it. you do a certain number of them, yeah, a scroll appears. God damn. Or as we call it here in the music one. world, sheet music. Sheet music. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and piece the, and of paper with notes and there's all sorts of those little things hiding everywhere I miss you know that. it's like hiding in plain sight sort of thing yeah now the problem is and again it's y- 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 I wish I didn't try the non-VR version because in non-VR 
this is like a third person, a, a traditional third person camera. It's, okay. a, it's right over oh, her shoulder. Okay. It follows her around. It's a, it's a very dynamic camera. And holy crap, does this game look amazing on a imagine. flat screen. Sure. And I'm so jealous of, it comes, this game comes with the non-VR version. It's like you play, play whatever version you want. Yeah. And somehow I'm still jealous of the non-VR version, even yeah, though yeah. I own it. Yeah. Because I want that dynamic camera to be following her around rather than, it reminds me so much of Final Fantasy VII. Oh, where, yeah, right yeah, where yeah. you get this awesome looking environment yeah but you're stuck looking at it from one camera angle one angle and then you got like the the polygonal characters running around you yeah know, and you're kind of just telling them it's where like to go the older resident evils before they exactly made it gears of war with resident evil five and six right exactly and so and, and so this i think in vr it does some very cool things yeah until you compare it to the standard non-vr, non-VR mode yeah and then you're like Ooh, why didn't they just why didn't they just give me the non-vr mode in VR. I wonder why. There must be something I'm with sure rendering they were, and... I'm sure they were worried about motion sickness. Budget. Yeah, that too. Right. This but, game was so safe, though. I, I Games like Rhythm Games, motion sickness, I don't know. Yeah, but but with, but a camera that's following your character around the room. I guess so, yeah. I guess it... I don't know. It's true. People get sensitive. Yeah. It's early on. Yeah, it's tough. A horse and buggy days, kind of. Horse and buggy days of VR. Yeah. That's right. What did you think of the music in this game? I mean, I liked it. It was it it was traditional JRPG type of music. I thought like half of it was right. Like yeah. I, I think the other half was like kind of classical. Yeah, there was some classical. That's true. Yeah. And this is this is stuff that, as far as rhythm games go, never heard this in any other true. rhythm game. Because it was some very m- mellow, somber yeah. piano tunes. It's beautiful. Yeah. I was like, this is what I want. For whatever reason, I was like, this it's is true. I, maybe I just played too much Audica and Beat Saber recently. Yeah, I have zero. This is like the only rhythm game I've ever played. It's rare. <laughs> Didn't I mean, you play Parappa the Rapper? No. Or Guitaru Man? Or no. Rock Band or Guitar Hero? Never or Rock Band. Or I tried Guitar Hero. Amplitude? No and no. Man, Guitar that, Hero was the only one. Oh, and I, Beat Saber. I tried some Beat Saber. I'm starting to feel like I've played a lot of rhythm games in my life. That's from yeah. Unjammer Lemmy. I never even heard of that That's one. A sequel, first sequel to Parappa the Rapper before Parappa the Rapper 2 came out. Unjammer. Unjammer um, Lemmy. Lu- Luminos... Luminous. Luminous. Yes, I love Luminous. I did play that on the PSP. I love it. Yeah, yeah I did play that. still my favorite version of it. It's the PSP version. Oh, really? Yeah. So, yeah, but the music, the, the, the classical music, the J-pop, and the further you get into the game, the more they get, the more experimental they get. Once you yeah. beat the game, it unlocks this whole, I don't want to call it metal, I don't want to call it pop, but it's like the demo version of those genres. Okay, yeah, yeah. Where it's like demo-fied metal. And I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> you beat the game and you're like, you immediately want to jump back in to be like, what did I just unlock? This is cool shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and, I mean, I don't know how long this took you to beat, but I think it took me like almost 10 hours to beat. This was a long time. I want to say it was close to the same amount of time. I It was forever. And you know what's funny about this game? Yeah. Is that I normally love point-and-click adventure games. Yes. That's kind of like, I dig them. So, but in this game, I found myself wanting to get through the point and click aspect of things to get back to playing the piano. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Because I was the opposite. Yeah. I was like, funny. I, I would I would get in, I'd play like two or three songs, mm-hmm. and then go, how much more of this do I have to do? You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm only playing the songs I wanted to, to, get back to, the, to be, get back to the puzzle solving stuff. Yeah. I wanted a leaderboard so bad so I could... <laughs> See what other people did, my friends, and try to do better. Yeah, that's. I wish it had that for that portion of it. I also wish it had normal a normal difficulty mode because it does it, again in non VR. Okay, but in VR you only get the easy and hard modes. Uh-huh, yeah, in the hard is too hard in VR, mm-hmm. and the easy is too easy. It was. I would have easy. killed for a normal mode. Yeah, it would have been really nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe in a future update we can revisit this game again. Maybe there's so many songs in this game. Yeah, I want to say there's close to seventy. I think I I only had like fifty five or something oh, when I, I beat no it. No clue. But I mean, there's upwards of like sixty to seventy songs in this game. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, there's a season pass for the DLC. Okay, there's already so there's gonna be four packs of DLC. Really? And the season pass is thirty dollars. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that sounds like a lot of money yes. until you find out that once all four packs are released over the yeah. next four months, okay, there are gonna be sixty additional oh. songs total All so right. it's 50 cents a song which beat saber wow. could really learn something from sure yeah right? those those things get really fucking expensive yeah so it's so i don't need any of the extra songs are they adding oh, more wait, did i say over 50 60 songs no i got it right are they adding like um 
chapters too, like sections, uh, like rooms, puzzle and pot, rooms. As far as I know, no. Okay, just it, more it's songs. Just more music. Okay, um, and that's and that's the crazy part is like so. You played this. You were more focused on the rhythm elements. Yeah. And I played it. I was more focused on the story, and I just did just enough of the music stuff to get to, to progress to the, the story. Mm-hmm. So even, I bought the DLC. I bought the season pass just because I love this game so much. Yeah. That I was like, oh, I guess I just want more of whatever it's going to offer. Sure. But I don't know if I'm ever going to play this like a Beat Saber or a Nautica, where I want to get good at the get rhythm in there parts. And play more. I might just go in and like just play the easy version of all of it and appreciate the music that they give me. Mm-hmm. Um, but man, like yeah, fifty cents a song—it's a ton of DLC. Yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think we need to rate this. I think so too. The voice acting, voice acting is always good when it's not English. Do you notice that? Yeah. It seems like Japanese voiceover. That was actually Japanese language, correct? As far as I know. I think. Pretty sure it's Japanese. But whenever it's in the native language, it's always more intense, you well, know? If the, it feels like a dream world already. It feels like a, a foreign land. Yeah. Right? So the fact that they're not speaking English yeah. works. Yeah. If they spoke English, I'd be like, oh, that brings it too close to home. Yeah. This is like some dream world. Yep. Yeah. And, and the maps, the way that the dialogue pops up, it's not hurtful for your eyes to strain and look and read what it says right it, it, they did a good job overall but yes yeah, so yeah. that'll be part of the rating oh excellent what is so, what is yeah. our rating scale jeremy <laughs> i'm so glad you brought that up so the rating scale yeah. is uh number one just get your galoshes on galoshes those are a thing still right they sell those in the store i mean they have to right those are big big rubber boots those are the big rubber <laughs> yeah. yeah the small ones depending on your size oh, yeah. Get your galoshes on if it's raining out. If not, just get your sneakers or your shoes <laughs> and run to the store, PlayStation store, and buy this game. Number two is hold off a little bit. Wait for it to be on sale. A good game, but just wait for it to be gifted to you or buy yourself a special treat. Mm. And three is what? <laughs> three is complete crap shit. Don't even <laughs> buy it. Just stay away from it. Just don't even wait for it. Just move on. That's number three. I edit so little out of this show. I'm totally editing that out. <laughs> that has to. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyhow, so, so what did you rate this one, Brian? So here's the thing. Like the, the fact is, if you, look, if you look at what this game really is, no. and you say, oh, this is Castle, but there's only like 10 rooms in it. Yeah. You know, when you look at the map and you go, wow, this can't, it feels so small, but as you're playing it, it feels so big. Yeah. It feels like there's a lot to uncover. It feels like there's a lot of puzzles to solve. There's a lot of music to play. And with all the music that's included, it just, there's, it just feels like there's a lot going on. And then you take a step back and you're like, this doesn't seem like there's that much. And then you go replay it and you're like, oh, there's so much here. It's, so I don't know. There's, there's like this weird dichotomy in my brain happening about what this game is really all about. Yeah. But, I love, love what it's doing. I love what it's doing as far as the, I, I love the puzzles. Mm-hmm. I love the art design. I think the music is beautiful. Yeah. Um, every found, every time I found a new uh, piece of sheet music, I would be excited to get back and see what it sounded like. Yep. You know, I didn't want to spend the next half hour playing music, but I couldn't wait to hear what the next song I unlocked was. Sure. And anytime I solved a new puzzle or found, you know, or, or, or thought that I might have an answer, to solve a puzzle, I, I got I got excited. Yeah, and I even finished the game with certain puzzles left unsolved, and not mm-hmm. all the sheet music found. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, again, as soon as the game's over, it gives you this reason to go back and jump to, jump right back in because it unlocks some things. It gives you this key that you, you knew you were looking for the whole time. Yeah, but as soon as you beat the game, they're like, "Here's that key you're looking for, Brian," and you're like, "Sweet, I need to dive right back in and use the key immediately." Yeah, because I didn't realize I had to beat the game to get the key. And <sighs> I love this game. Yeah, clearly. I love Demo. I this is this is absolutely one. Nice. Um, we just had the top twenty debate, and I fought for it. This was my ride or die. This was the one wow. that uh, I wanted that no one else did, and I was like, I don't care. It's on the list. <laughs> uh, everyone got one ride or die, and this one was mine. Nice. This is absolutely one. Uh, it does not matter if you're playing it in VR mode or non VR mode. They are both beautiful. Mm-hmm. In fact, I recommend you check out the non VR mode, even though you'll feel bad that you're like, oh, why is it not? But it's 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 just awesome either way you look at it. And uh, and I and I really can't recommend this enough. Wow! What nice. about you? Price point too? Uh, for, for the forty dollars price tag, I I think so because here's the thing: I spent ten hours going through the game and beating it once. Yeah. Without spending all that time trying to master any of the songs. Yeah. And so you could easily spend sixty, seventy, eighty hours with this. Sure. If you're like you know because people spend 
hundreds, if not thousands of hours with Beat Saber oh, and Otico. Totally. Yeah. And if this game gets you in the way those games get you, yeah. then you could just go and, and, and treat it like a rhythm game. Yeah. After, when, once you've done once you've beaten it yeah you can just go back in and just play the songs over and over and try to master all of them there you go and so you can get as much or as little time out of this as you want um i even though i only spent the 10 hours it required to beat it i'm still giving it a one and i'm very excited to go check out the season pass and play all that music nice yeah all right what about you so i thought again the voiceovers the voice acting was was great yeah. visually it was it was awesome you definitely felt like you were somewhere different right. you know the whole atmosphere everything the characters it just it did well i liked the puzzles i thought the puzzles were good um and it, it put a surprising twist on it for me where it made me want to go back and do the rhythm part of the game you know and uh when nobody's looking and you're there, yeah, you're into it. You're like <laughs> flowing around. I'm like ring with the keys, you know, Absolutely. and doing my thing. And and uh, at times where it missed a note, of course it wasn't my fault. I'm like fucking thing, you know. And it was the system's fault. Of course. Uh, but besides that, it, it was pretty spot on. Even the controls, um, in you know the point and click aspect of things were 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 good. Yeah, they were easy. They were it was there was no accidentally hitting buttons like in Immortal or anything like that. Um, and again, yeah, the music was great and it wasn't a traditional, uh, music set for rhythm games. It had that right. really somber classical sound and upbeat, you know, JRPG kind of sound to, to the certain songs too. Um, I do wish the difficulty was up a little bit cause I didn't even try on the hard because it was insane. Easy was definitely a little easy. Way too easy. Like the first time playing any song, if, if I didn't get like minimal in 89, like that was usually always, you know, and then jump yeah. back and it would be in the high 90s, you know. So I do wish there was some leaderboards and some stuff in the rhythm section that you could see uh, what your friends do. But that's asking, nitpicking. <laughs> um, so for what this hybrid game brings you that's pretty unique in VR is, you know, the adventure point and click and the rhythm game. Um, I, I personally can't say I loved it to death as much as you. Mm-hmm. I definitely enjoyed it. It, uh, without a doubt, not a three. <laughs> you, you always start with that. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't really come across a three yet. I mean, I have, but not here. I would say with solid two, no doubt two, leading more towards the one because so it's strong two. A strong two. I like strong twos. Yeah, it yeah. does offer a lot, and there's a lot of replay, and it is a game that you could introduce somebody to. I always try to look at games you could introduce somebody to the VR with. You yeah. know, that helps my scale. Because this is something you could have somebody check out and play. It's not going to make them sick. It's not going to make you nauseous. Sorry, sirens on our end. The sirens. Always. We don't do the one, two, three, shoot no, anymore. Not anymore. And then slaps. I, I always get slapped. Yeah, yeah, I got slapped a lot. But um, it was meaningful slaps. Sure. But yeah, I, solid two, without a doubt. Nice. The, the, the price point, actually, for what it offers and the length is, with. I have no complaints with the $40 for this game, nice. believe it or not. Yeah, no, yeah. And, and again, really, like if you if you're interested in this and you're like, well, I don't want to buy the season pass, like that doesn't say, no, you don't need it. There's yeah. so many songs, there are so many songs and so much content that already comes with the game. I I only bought the season pass because I just I just wanted to excuse to dive back in. Yeah, you know, and I didn't need an excuse. There was already more songs I, I wanted to play and more songs to discover and more puzzles I need to finish solving to unlock a few more yeah. pieces of sheet music. And I mean, yeah, you know what else is good about this game? The load screens are very minimal. Yeah. So like at times where you screw up and want to redo, it's quick. You're back in it because there's nothing worse than waiting. And then you're like, all right. And then it's like, okay, okay, here we go. And then you can stop playing your rhythm. It's like you, it's pretty quick. I, I So yeah, that was just a side thought. I just love Demo's big hands. Yeah, right? That's what you're controlling in VR with the move controls. Yeah, and you just see them all nice and flowy. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, what did you guys think of Demo Reborn? Did you play Demo Reborn? Are you staying away from it for some reason? Why don't you trust our judgment on these things? Trust you, us. Yeah, right? My, my initial review was really positive. This review, also very positive. Just Go check it out. Obey flicker back there nice. once in a while. Very nice. And they live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, did you, what did you think of it? Is it a one, two, or three? Also, what other games do you want us to play? The list is long. It gets longer every single week. Totally. Um, but that, that's awesome because yeah. it just means there's more to play than ever. There's a lot more to play. Yeah. Uh, that's it, I think, uh, for this episode. For another episode of Why We Love PlayStation VR, I'm Brian Paul. And I'm Jeremy King. And we'll see you next week. Yeah, that, that's, that's right. <laughs>